Okay, today's lesson is going to be Chapter 1, Lesson 2, and we're talking about comparing and ordering whole numbers. This is the flow map which your child should have in their notebook. The first step is to write the numbers lining up the digits. The second step, begin at the left and compare. The third step, circle the first place they are different, or the children can use their highlighters and highlight that spot to make those numbers pop out. Then compare, which is greater than, less than, or equal to, or order, put them in order from least to greatest, or greatest to least. Down here I have an example of comparing. We want to know if this number, 19,320, is greater than, less than, or equal to 19,212. Now your child may be able to just look at that and tell, but eventually there are going to be numbers that are going to be confusing. So let's use the steps to prove how easy it is and how well it works. I'm going to swing this number up under this one and line up the digits. I'm going to start at the left and compare. The ones are the same. The nines are the same. Here's the first place they're different. So I'm going to take my highlighter pen and I'm going to highlight the first place they're different. Notice how that makes those two numbers stand out. Now those are the only two numbers you need to look at to tell which number is larger. The three is larger, so that means that that number it's going to get the bigger side of the sign, which is the greater than sign. Notice the bigger side of the sign is facing the bigger number. So you would read this 19,320 is greater than 19,212. Now let's try one where we're ordering numbers. We're going to put these numbers in order, least to greatest. So here's our three numbers. First step, we need to write the numbers lining up the digits. Okay. The second step, begin at the left and compare. The sixes are the same. Here's the first place they're different in the hundred thousand spot. So I'm going to get my highlighter and I'm going to highlight that place. Notice that makes them pop out. Now we're just looking at these three numbers. Which one's smaller, the 6 or the 7? Notice the 6 is smaller. So out to the side, I'm going to go ahead and write the number 1. Because when I copy my answer, that's going to be the one that's the least greatest. Now I can stop looking at this one. Now I just need to look at this one and this one. So let's go to the next place today. This one has a 7 and so does this one. Let's skip over to the 1,000 spot. This one has a 6 and this one has a 7. That's the next place that they're different. So I'm going to highlight that spot. Whichever one is the smallest is going to be second. Notice that the six is smallest, so that's going to be our second number and least to greatest. And this one's going to be our larger. Now the only thing we have left to do is write them in order least to greatest. So take your first number and write it out. Then take your second number and now your third. And that is how you would compare and order whole numbers.